Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation, and we're going to explore the power constant and sum rules. We're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, f of x is equal to negative 2 times the fourth root of x. To, you, to derive, I really don't like seeing square roots, fourth roots, cube roots, etc. Anything with a radical. Don't like it. I prefer to see them as fractions. So my first step here, I'm going to rewrite this function. I haven't derived, I've derived yet, or taken the derivative, but I'm going to write this to be negative 2 times instead of the fourth root of x, x to the 1 fourth power. And we know they mean the same thing, okay? So now from here, I can apply the power rule. So now I'm taking my derivative, f prime of x, is equal to, well, the 1 fourth comes out of front, 1 fourth times negative 2, right? multiplication there, x to the 1 fourth, minus 1, okay? Well, when I, uh, if you need a little note here, 1 fourth minus 1, you can, 1 fourth minus 1, it's the same thing as 1 fourth minus 4 fourths, and 1 fourth minus 4 fourths is negative 3 fourths, okay, moving on. So now when I simplify this, f prime of x, uh, 1 fourth times a negative 2 is the same thing as a negative 1 half, okay, I'm kind of simplifying that, uh, times x to the power here, negative 3 fourths, power. All right, I don't like having a negative exponent for my final answer. So when I rewrite this, I'm going to write that to be uh, then x to the negative 3 fourths power to be 1 over x to the positive 3 fourths. So we have our final answer, f, of f, f prime of x is equal to negative 1 over 2 times x to the positive 3 fourths power. There, okay? And there we have it. Now, some of my students, uh, some people put a negative out front here or up top. It really doesn't matter. Um, basically the same thing there. Um, yeah, don't worry about that. If it's up there with a negative 1, or sometimes you'll see it out front. Just don't do both of those. That's pretty lame. Okay? So we have a uh, final answer here of f prime of x is equal to negative 1 all over 2 times x to the positive 3 fourths power. So let's recap here. We're going to f of x is equal to negative 2 times 4th root of x. So I rewrote this, the so 4th root of x to be um, x to the to 1 fourth power, because I prefer dealing with fractions and exponents instead of radicals. From there, I can apply the power rule. I brought the 1 fourth out front, and now I'm taking the derivative. Negative 2, I mean 1 fourth times negative 2 times x to the, whatever that power was, 1 fourth minus 1. When I simplify that, negative, uh, 1 fourth times negative 2 is a negative 1 half, and 1 fourth minus 1 was a negative 3 fourths, so we have negative 1 half x to the negative 3 fourths power. Okay? So now we simplified that. I brought my exponent down, or my power with the exponent, that's negative, down to the denominator, uh, make it a positive, giving me my final answer, which is f prime of x is equal to a negative 1 all over 2 times x to the positive 3 fourths power.